So today I'm going to take you basically through our 2018-2019 slate in terms of theatrical and our uh, TV content, basically. Um, hopefully you'll... Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Hopefully you'll see how this content can work within your various different business models. So, kicking off, um, <coughs> start with Marvel. So this is an absolutely massive year for Marvel. It's the 10th year of the Marvel comic book universe. And there's uh, five huge movie moments for Marvel this year. So we've got Thor Ragnarok uh, launched on home entertainment in half a million homes. Black Panther, you can't have helped but seen that fantastic piece of content uh, do so well theatrically this year. Avengers Infinity War is our big one. We'll launch in April 28th in theatres. And then later on in the year, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. <coughs> Click. Yep, there we go. So, Black Panther, just to bring... And it, this is a perfect example of what Andrew was talking about. This property has exploded. It's done much, much better than we expected. So, from a UK perspective, it's done uh, 45 billion at the box. It's done over a billion dollars globally. It's flying. Uh, it's the seven biggest biggest film of all time in the States. So clearly an absolutely huge property and one that did much, much better than we were expecting. So from a product perspective, you know, in terms of being responsive, this is one where there's an opportunity to definitely fill gaps. Um, clearly a huge cultural phenomenon and one that we're really, really proud of at all of the outputs. Um, on to uh, Infinity War, Marvel Infinity War. So this is basically the culmination of 10 years of Marvel movie making. Um, it's going to be enormous. So just to give you a bit of a scale in terms of the, the uh, anticipation associated to this film. So within the first um, uh, 24 hours, the trailer was viewed 200 million times. So this is the biggest trailer of all time. It's just a colossal scale and something that the fans are really, really excited about. From a content perspective, um, it's, it's, uh, it's directed by the Russo brothers. Josh Brolin plays Thanos. This is going to be a whopper, and I really hope that you are able to support. Um, I think this slide does a good job. There's a little bit of content here that we can't announce, but you can see here that just the sheer breadth of characters that are in this movie. So we've got Black Panther, Spider-Man, Captain America. This is all of everything that Marvel's been working towards for the last 10 years coming together. Additionally, in the year, we basically close off the year with Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, uh, launched by uh, Sony Pictures. I think this one's worth a special mention because obviously the iconic nature of Spider-Man's great for product, but also the very stylized, beautiful nature of this film, I think will work brilliantly across a number of your business models. So uh, then I'll move on from Marvel to Star Wars, um, and not to be outdone, uh, the, 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 the uh, guys over at Lucas bring us another massive, massive movie, uh, Solo is obviously the backstory to ha my favourite Star Wars character, Han Solo. Now move on to our uh, family slate for 2018. I'll quickly start with Coco. Uh, it's a Grammy winner, it's an Oscar winner, it's a Golden Globe winner. It's done really, really well for his 20 million at the UK box office. Um, I, the reason to bring this one up is a very similar profile to Moana. Same time of year launch and uh, very similar box office. That actually went on to do superbly well. Um, from a consumer products perspective. So one to be aware of and definitely to think about for your product ranges. And onto our big play for the family audience for the summer is Incredibles 2. So the summer doesn't actually see a whole lot of competition for Incredibles, so we're expecting an absolutely fantastic box office performance and similarly consumer products. Now I just want to touch on basically the reimagining and the uh, live action versions of a number of films that we'll be making over the next 18 months. So really what you've got the combination of is our most beloved storylines and characters and the very best filmmaking technology. And those combinations we'll see us bring to market Dumbo, Lion King, Christopher Robin, The Nutcracker and this Christmas Mary Poppins. The other thing just for anybody selling licensed products in the room, uh, this November, December, December is uh, Mickey Mouse's 90th birthday. So again, there'll be a lot of PR, a lot of energy around that event, and it's a great opportunity to sell product. So to take you quickly from the big screen to the small screen, um, back in 2014, Disney really had a very strong position within the preschool market. We had uh, franchises such as Doc with Stuffins, Sophia the First, 
Jake and the Neverland Pirates and Mickey. Since 2014, uh, I guess our strength has been diminished a little and we've seen other properties take a, a, a strong hold within this marketplace. So 2018 sees us come back with some really exciting fresh new properties. So Mickey's Roads to Racers, Vampirina, Puppy Dog Pals, Muppet Babies and Fancy Nancy. I don't have time to go into lots of detail on all of these, but I think you can see visually they look really strong uh, and they'll make fantastic products of all different categories. Um, one to lean into a little bit would be Vampirina. This is uh, a property which is very much exceeding our expectations on channel and the guys over at Disney Store tell me that this is one of their best selling uh, uh, franchises at the moment. So for those selling product, this could absolutely work. Um, one of the kind of issues we've had in the preschool market has been a certain dog based preschool property. Um, so we've come to market with our own. Um, we think that this is a really fun, exciting property. Uh, it's launched really, really well in the States. So again, we think that this is something that we, we're excited to work with you on. Um, and staying with the dog theme, uh, the reason to mention this particular content, 101 Dalmatian Street, is that it's set here in London and it is uh, produced here in London. So we would love for this property to work. Again, fantastic, uh, different kind of style of animation, something that can work really well on product. So before I jump off, I just wanted to bring your attention to what I haven't talked about because such is the depth of the Disney slate. So I've pretty much covered mo <coughs> most of 2018. 2019, the things that we didn't talk about in there, which are just huge licensable properties, will be the ninth episode of Star Wars. Uh, Anna and Elsa are back, the, queen, the queens of licensing are back in November. So we'd love to work with you to recreate some of the success we had back in 2014 and 15. Toy Story 4 in the summer, again, is going to be a huge, huge property. And the Marvel machine keeps motoring. So you have another uh, Avengers movie and the female-led Captain Marvel. So a huge slate of content. Um, if you have any questions on any of this, I'm happy to pick them up afterwards. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.